Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to try to make this video as short and sweet as possible, but um, there's no promises. I have had a lot of questions asking me how to properly use the Kaki Mori Brass Nib. And I can't say I've ever come across a video that shows any of this, at least not that I've found. I haven't looked recently, but these are the ways that I found out how to use this the proper way. When I first got this, I did not like it. Um, I strayed away from using it because it just was not working for me and I could not figure it out. But some time has gone by and I have learned how to use it on my own and it seems to work out. And thank you for all of the compliments that I got for how I use it and how good my swatches look. So I am just going to take um, a diamine ink. This is one of the Inkvent inks. It's called Cashmere Rose and show you exactly what I do so that maybe this will help everyone else who's struggling on to you how to use this. So all I do is I tilt my bottle and then I spin my nib in the bottle. And then when I'm done doing that, what I do is I slide it on the edges to get some of that ink off because that's what you want to do, I would assume, because otherwise the ink is like real swatchy. And then you can just say, hello, beautiful. It's really just that simple. Um, it seems like it's not. But I have not had any issues swatching with it when I do it this way. Um, it picks up quite a bit of ink that way and you can do whatever you want. You can do the scratches like this. You can make pictures. Um, I have no artistic skills so don't judge. And then you can also do... Let me set this down before things get crazy. You can also do the different line variations. You hold it straight up to get a straight line. Tilt it, oops, tilt it a tiny bit to get a thicker line. And then you can tilt it even further. Of course, there, tilt it even further to get a thicker line. Um, again, I'm not really good at showing how to do these things, but I really hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions on anything that you saw in this video, um, I will just list everything that I have down below for you, and I hope that three minutes was not too long for you to watch how to do this.